One, two. Run two. One, two. Good morning. There are distinguished scholars here present. I will wish to welcome you to this special academic program, the 87th inaugural lecture of Namda Azikiwe University, Oka. This inaugural lecture is going to be presented by is going to be presented by no other person other than Professor Charles Ogu. So we welcome all of us to this special program. And we say thank you very much for coming. Academic procession is about to begin. And we wish to appeal to us, those of us who are well-dressed academically to please move outside in order to join the procession. So we welcome all of us. I can see some principal officers of the university here present. We welcome you, all the members of the inaugural lecture committee. We salute you. I can also see the latest inaugural lecturer. She is here too, smiling because today she is getting someone else. Professor Agu, we salute you. Uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, on dear Professor Gachuku Ibeneme, good man, good scholar. Wonderful personality, we welcome you. Thank you. So please may we move outside for the academic procession, which is commencing any moment from now.
Thank you very much. And we recognize the PRO's office, the protocol office, we salute you. Yeah, the speaker is speaking and talking very well now. Thank you for the adjustment. Thank you. Those by the sides have been advised to come to the center of the center. You don't need to be at the center of the periphery or the periphery of the periphery. <laughs> so any moment from now, distinguished scholars, ladies and gentlemen, the procession will commence. Uh, we also welcome our friends and students, the specially, the special skilled colleagues and students here present. We welcome you. I see you no. Any moment from now, distinguished scholars, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, our online participants, the procession will commence any moment from now. And the commencement of the procession announces the commencement of the program proper. It is a hybrid program being watched all over the world at the moment, which makes our university a very unique one, which has also helped the visibility of the university and, of course, the current ranking of the university among universities in the sub-Saharan Africa. Inaugural lectures are meant to be a very serious academic program. And uh, over the years, only, only professors that are professors are presenting their inaugural lectures. It is not easy. Because that is the day you tell the world what you do. It is the day other academics all over the world will hook in to know what you have been doing. So anyone that has been deceiving anyone <laughs> on the inaugural, day, inaugural lecture day, if you don't have anything to say or you have been copying somebody, that person will be seeing you from America and Canada and all over the world. So that is why it is good to be original, and that is what the university emphasizes. So we welcome you again and again, and we'll continue to welcome you and to be with you, you know, as far as this program is on. Any moment from now, the great academic Kijele will be on ground to perform. The Dean Faculty of Education is here. And we must have to commend the Faculty of Education too. That faculty has been professing and professing. <laughs> it is not easy, honestly. Honestly. So we thank them and we thank everybody. We also welcome our students that are here. We welcome you to this great academic enterprise. We welcome you to this particular program because it is a program for the great minds. It looks small. It looks, you know, very, very small, but it's a very big academic program because what comes out of it, you know, are ideas, ideas on how to better the society, ideas on how to correct the problematic, ideas about statements of the problem. Because as you profess, you must have to profess solutions to what problems you have, you know, 
decided to tackle. And here too, you expected to present to the world what you have been doing. That is how inaugural lectures are presented. You have to talk about what you have done in the past, where you started, what you have done, what you have contributed to, to, to the intellectual society, what you have produced, your innovations, your uh, mentoring capacity, people you have mentored, people you have worked together before, people you know that have assisted you and you have assisted in one way or the other in trying to recover. And gentlemen, intellectual harvest. And you know what comes out of every harvest, especially the good harvest? Great products. So today, Professor Charles Hoku will be talking to us. I don't want to announce the title of uh, his presentation because he's the inaugural lecturer. He's the one that will tell us what he intends to do. In as much as we already have the work, in as much as we already have, you know, the title on the floor of the inaugural lecture, it is the inaugural lecturer that pronounces to the world what he intends to present. Professor Charles Oke Ogu has been with this university over the years and is also uh, a specialist in a number of uh, fields, kinetics and other related matters. Of course, there is going to be a citation on him today. There is going to be a brief or what we may call a breached citation on him this afternoon, after which the presentation proper takes place. If he does well, he's going to be decorated by the vice chancellor of this university. If he does well, and I'm sure he would make sure he would do very, very, very well. Uh, we also have our friend. official name, because I've just been informed that you are a kind of association of like minds. So we will appreciate you at the right moment. Any moment from now, we have to change this music to the procession music before they start coming in. Please. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The protocol unit, we salute you. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the procession is on. So please, may we rise wherever we are. Yes, the procession is on, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you. We welcome you. The procession is still on. I can see the professors. I can see the various categories. Thank you, the prof. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, may we be seated, please. Are you okay? Okay. Thank you. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, distinguished scholars, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to welcome all of us to this very special academic program called Inaugural Lecture. Inaugural Lecture Inaugural lectures, as we know, provide academics the opportunity to tell the world what they have been doing and, of course, what they want to do with regards to problem solving. So today we have come for the 87th inaugural lecture of Namda Azikiwe University, OK? Permit me to welcome the Vice Chancellor of this university, Professor Charles Okechuku Esimone, fellow Academy of Science, ably represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration. Okay, sorry, permit me to adjust and readjust in a special way, distinguished scholars. Um, he is being represented today in a, this very special academic program by the immediate past deputy vice chancellor academic, our own dear professor uh, Odibo. He is here with us in a special way. And may I also inform us that uh, Professor Odibo is now the special advisor to the chancellor on academic matters. Please put your hands together. Prof, we welcome you, our dear father, gentleman by all standards and a great scholar. Can you see smile, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Permit me also to welcome, though he's the, one of the hosts here, uh, the chairman of the inaugural lecture, Committee of this great university, Professor Richard Wafwe, we welcome you. And in no particular order, dear distinguished scholars, permit me to also welcome the Dean of the Faculty of Education here present, Professor Vivian Mobo. We salute you. Professor Mike Ezengwa is also here. Professor of Psychology. I salute you and the member of this committee. We welcome you. Uh, we also have in our midst um, Professor Nkechi Esumonu. We welcome you, former Dean of Education. Uh, we also have Professor Nkechi Nkiru. Melodo, we salute you. Uh -huh. No, immediate past dean of faculty of agriculture. We welcome you. 
Uh, we welcome Professor, as, just as I say, no particular order, please. Uh, Professor Khan Wangkwo, we welcome you. Professor Obio Raikweze, we welcome you. Professor Josephine Okoli, we welcome you. Professor Kate Omenua, immediate past honorable commissioner, we welcome you. Even in Akako, we are the academic program. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Uh, we welcome Professor Go Ibeneme. We welcome you. Professor, we welcome Professor Ngozi Obidike. We welcome you. No. We also have in our midst Professor Lillian Onwoka. I salute you. Our own dear Professor Obi Okonkwo is also here. We welcome you. Uh, the Astute Chair of this great university, Professor Kingsley Oji. Oboji is here. the <laughs> We salute you. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have in our midst Professor Of Maduka. We salute you. We also welcome Professor Ngozi Aikwa. We salute you. You are welcome, Prof. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Vice Chancellor, we still have a number of. Uh, I can also see Professor George Obiozo. We salute you, Prof. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have in our midst Professor Ahmadi. Prof, we salute you. Here also is uh, Professor Okibo. We salute you, Prof. We welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll continue to recognize ourselves as we continue, as we move on, please. Thank you very much. So on this note, Mr. Chairman, Distinguished scholars, ladies and gentlemen, may I respectfully invite all of us to stand for the university anthem. Thank you. Thank you. We will take the opening prayer. May I invite Professor Ogo Ibeneme to lead us in the opening prayer.
Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. We thank you for bringing us to this occasion where our brother Charles Ogu will be delivering his inaugural lecture. We thank you for your journey message. We commit this day into your hand in the activities we are going to have. Guide and direct everyone here. We pray especially for our Vice Chancellor and the University. May your blessings be on all of us. Enable the lecturer to deliver his lecture well. And let all who are here be blessed with his lecture. And let knowledge be passed. And let all glory be unto you. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you very much, Professor Ibeneme. Please, may I also recognize the Professor Ngozi Agu, the 86th inaugural lecturer. We welcome you and we salute you. Thank you. Ona mutangwata. Ona mutangwata. So we salute her. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chairman, distinguished scholars, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the 87th inaugural lecture. And to the glory of God, Mr. Chairman and Vice Chancellor, the great lecturer today is the special scholar. And it is my honor to present him and, of course, call him to the right table. Mr. Chairman, sir, with your permission, I wish to call on the one and the only professor and Mrs., of course, Charles Oke Ogu, to please. Come up to the table. Kai kusele akike. Thank you. Yes. Iga mazi idize luche chavo nye be umazi analo madi olalalo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Because one aka, oh, oh no, the insert and more put the aka. The man in the house, or the woman in of the house and in the house. Or do is it? I think not the other way around. Or the okay. Uh -huh. No, you had them man had them. Uh, this is an international program because people are watching us from all over the world. So we have to do it the right way. Ngwa watch ya etukasi watch ya watch good. Then no mu na anya ni. You see, you see that is kai kwal no ha kabiko. It is not easy. So we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Having taken the opening prayer and the protocol, Mr. Chairman and distinguished scholars, it is now my honor and privilege to invite our own dear Vice Chancellor, who is today ably represented by the special advisor to the Vice Chancellor on academic matters. So he's now coming up to talk to us and at the same time to declare the inaugural lecture open. Please, may I respectfully invite Mr. Vice Chancellor. Please, round of applause for him. Thank you, sir. Good evening.
the chairman of the uh, inaugural lecture committee and members of uh, his committee, the dean, faculty of education, the head department, the head department of um, human kinetics and uh, sports education. Professors of the university. I want to start uh, calling one by one because of time. Deans of faculty here present. Department. the inaugural lecturer and the family. There is a group here I would like to recognize. Please, may I know the group? There is a group that came in, um, yeah. Okay. The visually impaired students and staff of uh, this university who are present. And uh, they are Igwe in council. You are welcome. And we're going to send you back. Eh? 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 Nihina, only I got Gundu Kuta, own one name worker. Don't be say, I our guests in diaspora who are listening to us uh, from the cloud. The student, great students of Nanda Sikiwe University. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I stand here on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Charles Esimone, to welcome you to Namda Zikwe University, to welcome you especially to this 87th uh, inaugural uh, lecture. To be there today, no other person, of Professor O.K. Charles Ogu. I must commend uh, the inaugural lecture committee. It has been it has become a norm in the Nabda Sikiwe University that no two weeks passes without uh, our having an inaugural lecture. And uh, about a, a month ago, it also had a, a, a trailblazing lecture, a trailblazing lecture in the world known as the Jubilee Lecture that was uh, first delivered by Professor AIB Adema. And uh, in no distant time, a second one will come. You will know, you will know the lecturer in due course. Inaugural lectures are lectures that delivered by professors. Usually, usually young professors, those that have been made professors, and they, they want to showcase what they did that uh, merited them that uh, elevation to the rank of professor. But because of financial constraints, you will now find out that uh, professors as old as uh, 20 years are now giving inaugural lecture, which should not be. It was because of uh, the financial constraints we had in the past. But now 
I think uh, the younger lecturers, the younger professors are now eager to give uh, their inaugural lecture. And today we are going to listen to a professor of uh, sports sociology and the cultural anthropology as he talks to us on working with children with disability in a social cultural context. I think this topic is very apt, and uh, this must have uh, led to the influx of uh, these our dear brothers and sisters who have uh, disabilities to this uh, function. Practical viewpoint on adapted physical uh, activity. Let us listen with rapt attention to Professor Charles Okechuku Ogu, as uh, he will tell us, well, what we don't know, as he will tell us what we don't know. And uh, on this note, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, I declare the inaugural lecture, the 87th inaugural lecture open. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our dear Vice Chancellor, ably represented by Professor FJC or SAVC Academy. We salute you, sir. Please, another round of applause for him. Thank you. Uh, the jelly is about to dance in the marketplace. For this time, it is here at the Namda Azikiwe University, okay, the university of the moment and the university of all time. We want to introduce this great inaugural lecturer, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take the citation on him. And on this note, I wish to call on our own dear Asuchia, Professor Kensley Oboji, to please come up for the citation on the inaugural lecturer, Professor Kensley. Let me start on the already established protocol to read the citation of the 87th inaugural lecturer, Ogu Okechuku Charles, PhD, Professor of Sports Sociology and Cultural Anthropology. I am struggling between calling him a young man and an elder, but it's important to know that this man sitting here as the 87th inaugural lecture with a beautiful wife was born in Enyogugu. Um, Okay, forgive me for, this is my first time of doing citation. So if you watch my hand and my leg is shaking, standing before great men and women, the strong men of the university. So Prof, may I invite you to come and stand before my teachers, my mentors, my leaders and comrades. That one I'm still learning. <laughs> Yeah, that's the man I'm talking about, a very handsome man. You know, it's difficult to, to really get this black or rather dark complexion. Most people are fair, you can buy it from the market, but this one, you can't even use charcoal to get it. So the handsome man is before us. 
Yeah, very handsome. You will not understand. It's only us that has a mix of black and white to tell you. All right. Um, he is from the Department of Human Kinetics and Sports Science, Faculty of Education, Nam Azikiwe University, Oka. He had his primary school in Cameroon Road, N Primary School, Aba. His secondary school at Government College, Afipo. And his university days at University of Nigeria, Nsuka. Of course, his BSc, MED, MED again in physical education, in sports management and administration, and his PhD in physical education, sociology of sports. He's had a number of relevant experiences, having taught at the Federal College of Education Obudu in Cross River State, Nigeria to produce NCE teachers for the nation. And presently, since 1991, part of teaching, mentoring, and supervision of Nigeria. The young man before me has mainline textbooks that are three. He has 18 book chapters and articles in relevant journals, 28 in nationals and 26 in international. He has conference proceedings, both local and international at 33, not age now, the number. He has supervised over 400 undergraduate students. At the postgraduate level since 20, 2008 till date, he has supervised 28 MSc students and five PhD candidates. And has been part of external examination for over 48 students. He has attended, attended special training programs. Among so many of them, I could only mention few, World Bank Assisted Nigeria Primary Education Project, Master Trainers on Primary Science, organized by the Federal Minister of Education at the University of Jos, and Workshop on Pedagogy, sponsored by a grant, I'm interested in this one, grant, from Association of African Universities, AAU, for Mobilizing Regional Capacity Initiative, that was held at University of KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. I think I've been to that place. He has successfully completed all modules of the Preventing Dementia at University of Tasmania, Wiccan, in Australia. In 2022 and 2023. So I, I can only mention this four. I was consulted for institutional initiative to and success in African higher education. It's a multi country study on good practice to inform policy. And this came from a grant. One held at University of KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, another in Kenyatta University, Kenya, another in Namde Azikiwe University here, and another in University of Witwatersrand, South Africa. He is a certified external examiner for so many programs, affiliated universities, our own university, and so on and so forth. He's been involved in international mentorship in Mount Royal University, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, in University College, Dublin, Ireland, and University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom. He equally has received awards 
recipient of international full scholarship to citizens of developing countries as a researcher who has over the years engaged in the theoretical interpretation of practices surrounding the quality of life and attitude towards physical activity of children with disabilities at the 19th International Symposium of the Adapted Physical Activity, ISAPA, in Istanbul, Turkey. He received also an International Federation of Adapted Physical Activity Fellowship Award during the 22nd International Symposium of ISAPA 2019 at University of Virginia, Charlottesville, United States of America. He has represented qualitatively in so many bodies, one of which is the executive board member in International Federation of Adapted Physical Activity, representing African region. Equally, editorial board member of Palastra, member scientific board in ISAPA 2019 in the United States of America. He's equally a visiting professor to Pan-African universities located in Ibadan, amongst other representation in outside body. On administrative experience, he has been head of department, physical and health education, Federal College of Education, Obudu. He has equally been a member of the examination board of the college, member school board of studies, among so many others. Experience in socioeconomic or and educational development endeavors. In other words, his contribution to the university. He's a managing editor Journal of Health and Movement Behavior. He's a member editorial board of the International Journal of Educational Research and Development. He is faculty of education representative or was in the university senate, editor in chief Journal of Health and Movement Behavior. In my constituency, he has been a convener, fitness, wellness, and sports committee of ASU, member committee of review of Namdasgue University Condition of Service, ASU Nayu branch, convener honorarium committee of ASU Nayu branch, convener electoral committee 2018 for ASU, and chairman faculty of education examination misconduct committee 2023 till date. My constituency, because the ASO as a constituency is for checks and balance. And so, in his contribution to the union, he has served in these different capacities. His contribution to the society is a member of NTINCE accreditation team of National Commission for Colleges of Education and Equally Financial Secretary, Academic Union of Universities. My constituency again. This one on election, the other one on appointment. Membership of professional bodies. He's a member of Nigerian Association for Physical Health Education, Recreation, Sports, and Dance. I believe you're going to dance today, sir. Member Nigerian Association of Health Education Teachers, member Nigerian Association of Sports Science and Medicine. I believe the medical practitioners are here to really know that he's contributing to the health and well-being of our people. Amongst others, member International Sociology of Sports Association and member International Organization for Health, Sports, and Kinesiology. He has a lot of hobbies, among which are reading, writing, and research, and a lot of sports, including badminton, cricket, and scrabble. Permit me, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished scholars, to introduce to you a happily married man with children who's going to be the 87th inaugural lecturer of today for want of time, Professor Charles Oke Ogu, 
A round of applause for him. Thank you. Vice Chancellor, well, let me first of all introduce my title for discussion today. I'm going to talk about working with children with disabilities in social cultural context, practical viewpoint on adapted physical activity. Now, this is the 87th inaugural lecture of Nanda Square University, Oka. Presenter is Professor Oke Ogu Charles, a professor of post sociology and cultural anthropology at the Department of Human Kinetics and Sports Science. Protocol. The Vice Chancellor, past Vice Chancellors, members of the Governing Council, Deputy Vice Chancellors, Administration and Academies, Principal Officers of the University. Provost College of Health Sciences, Dean of Faculties, Distinguished Professors, Directors and Heads of Department, Visiting Academies and Colleagues, Royal Highnesses here present, Captain of Industry, Family Members and Friends, Great Student Members of the Press, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Now, by way of introduction, uh, I think I have done that. Let me just quickly move to uh, the next slide. Individuals with disabilities have been present in our society throughout history. They have been present and more visible in our society and in schools throughout much of the world. In Nigeria, it's been estimated about 22 million people are individuals with disabilities. Reports support the widely held view of that individuals with disabilities often must fight for their basic rights, including the rights to participate in physical activities. The rights of individuals with disabilities have not been recognized, especially in Nigeria. Individuals with disabilities have suffered various forms of discrimination at all levels of our society. To work with children with disabilities, one needs to be familiar with how disability has affected their functioning in the environment where physical activity are performed. Disability experience can influence functional capacities 
whether the disability is congenital or acquired. Special environments where children with disabilities stay can make them have limited interaction with their peers, especially in school. Sometimes they feel differently and ostracized. Understanding the social environment can offer opportunities on how adapting physical activity is used as a tool in improving quality of life of children with disabilities. Disability paradigm. Now, following the rise of or movements in the rise of movements in dis uh, disabilities in the 80s. Now, this movement has led by people with disabilities who coined the phrase, nothing about us without us. And they claim that the only the people that are qualified to dis define disabilities. The goal of this movement was to replace oppression with empowerment and marginalization with full inclusion. Now I come to the independent living model. The independent living model challenges the medical model of disability. This offers the first alternative definition of disability. It argues that people with disabilities have the right to self-determination, the right to have their own rational and informed choices, and the model also emphasizes the independent living, a right and defined people with disabilities as consumers rather than patients of clients. The next model is the social model. The social model represents the view that disability only exists because of barriers in our society. The biopsychosocial model. Now, this model was developed to address the limitations of both medical and social models. Biosocial, biopsychosocial model emphasized that disability is not caused by impairment or physical or medical reasons, but is also due to psychosocial, social, and lifestyle factors. Biopsychosocial model, visual impairment. Now let's talk about visual impairment. Now persons holding glasses. Now, You do not have 2020 vision. Now, when, we, when your visual acuity is measured, it is not up to 2020, you are visually impaired. But then you claim to be normal. But then you claim to, uh, to, 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 to not to have visually you know, impairment. Now, what does this thing tell us? It tells us that the two extremes, it is not quite possible for somebody to come and say he's normal or not. Now, let me talk about the appropriate language. Now, talking about disability is something that sometimes makes people nervous or worried. Now, this section we focus on talking about disability and as well as stereotypes and words to avoid. Now, the language we choose to talk about disability it's very, very important. It describes a central feature of the lives of many people, and the words we use communicate whether intentionally or unintentionally, you are underlining beliefs about disability. Now, good news. What is the good news? Because the language we use is inherently connected to our thinking, it is one of the easiest things we can change to support persons with disabilities. Now, when talking about disability, a good rule of thumb is to aim for as much as inclusion, neutral language, and clarity as possible. Now, the various terms we use have had people are conditions, impairments, disabilities. Now, when you talk about conditions, it has to do with disorder. And this disorder may be as a result of injury or disease 
an individual has been diagnosed, for example, spinal cord injury. Now you talk about impairments, problems in body functions and structures, for example, paralysis. Now disabilities, limitations or restrictions in functioning, for example, persons unable to perform 